Win slots is probably the most controversial of the free slot games. With constant updates, exploitable programming bugs, and the practice of moving the goalposts, it's clear to see why. Personally, I've all but abandoned the game for a much more familiar and consistent territory. But here's why I did, and why you probably shouldn't. Is the Ace of Vegas, the Ace of Vegas. Before we get started, I just want to give a quick thank you to all of our Patreon members that help keep the channel growing. More on that later. Hey Spinners and Sharks, Ace Vegas here, and I hope you're doing well. So as you know, I've been going to Las Vegas for years now, and I love a good deal. I'm also an avid gamer, so you'll naturally conclude that me finding a video game that lets me go to Vegas for free was a godsend to me. When I heard about Winslots originally, I was very excited. My Vegas had been my bread and butter for quite some time, and Win was a property that I enjoyed visiting. The prospect of getting there for free by playing a video game was a blast, and finding yet another game to find little exploits, tips, and tricks was yet another incentive. But while I did initially enjoy the challenge, as the game continued to age and develop, I quickly found myself turned off. So one has to ask, what the hell happened? Why would Win Slots, a popular and growing game aimed at the Vegas visitor, turn off its perfect audience members so much that he stops playing? even after creating several tutorials and reviews centered around it. Well, let's take a look back at Win Slots over the years. I started playing back in fall of 2018. Win was newish, cleanish, and a goodish time. The goal was simple, play Win branded slots and earn enough gems to get a free stay at the Win Hotel in Las Vegas. And as a whole, it worked. The game was somewhat limited at the time, but it was fun and had a few additional game modes, including a head-to-head -head battle mode that My Vegas Slots was lacking. It wasn't quite the fire and forget heat seeker that My Vegas was, but it was still a good enough time. So far, so good. The following year of 2019 saw additional updates, including the addition of a VIP system. With this update, there was a new set of rewards. In addition to King and Queen Resort room stays, one could also win a free buffet pass to the Win Buffet. But this came at a cost. The new VIP system introduced along with this was a ranking system that afforded you certain benefits based on how many of those VIP points that you could get. Tier 1 would earn you the free buffets, Tier 2 would earn you free rooms, Tier 3 would get you free rooms again but mildly cheaper, so on and so forth. The VIPs were earned either by collecting bonuses, buying chips, or completing in-game events. This resulted in the game being a bit more resource intensive if you wanted comps. You'd either pay in time, or in money. This was the first major change to how comps were received through win slots, and it turned quite a few players off. But to me, this was still pretty reasonable. Most games will ask you to pay somehow, either with time, or with money. When gamers are asked to pay in time, it's usually in the form of advertisements between screens. Or in this instance, it seems to be advertising the whole Las Vegas property, which is a pretty clever marketing strategy. After all, it worked for MGM, why not here? When money is asked of players, there are two main ways that it happens in gaming. Either it's a one-time fee, like in Star Wars Battlefront 2, or alternately it's transactional, like Star Wars The Old Republic, which is a free-to-play game that's supported by optional subscriptions and a cash shop that allows you to purchase perks and pay your way through convenience. Put a pin in that, we'll be back to it later. At this point, I was paying for this game by opening it and committing my downtime to playing it, with the goal of going to the win, either gambling money there or spending it, one of the two. The winter of 2019 saw minor updates and one concern for players. The room rewards were locked behind a VIP paywall, with no way to see the room prices and gems beforehand unless you were at a certain VIP level, 2 or above. Again, this was a fairly minor change and just encouraged players to spend more time or money in the game, a far cry from the original system and a deterrent for new players, but not a big enough deal for current players to wave the white flag. In February of 2020, however, the other shoe dropped. Win Slots had updated the game about midway through the month of February and changed the rules on how you could redeem your free rewards. And the way that they did that was putting quotation marks around the words, free rewards. The big change was to the VIP points. Win Slots VIP points were central to strategy as soon as they appeared, representing an investment of time into the game rather than money. But the latest update showed that the developer of Win Slots did not value the player's time at all. 
VIP points earned through gameplay were cut down significantly, around 80% in most cases, meaning that while well, before you could rather casually make VIP 1 and just had to put some time into VIP 2, reaching either of these levels required monetary investment at this point. So if you just wanted to get a buffet, it would likely set you back about $5 for up to 2, which is still pretty cool. But what made it worse was the fact that VIP level 3 was the minimum VIP you needed to net yourself a free stay at the win. This was the death mark of win slots for me. The challenge of the game was gone. It wasn't about strategically calculating how to manage my bankroll to achieve certain scratchers and maintain the appropriate VIP level. It was now a pay to win game. Grab that pin from a couple of minutes ago, this is what I was talking about. Many MMORPGs have a very similar problem with the pay to win systems. That's when you offer your resource of money to achieve the final goal of a game without sacrificing your time or developing a skill. So instead of working to get the ultimate sword in a game after playing through the story, learning your moves, bonding with your partners, and finally earning your spot in the sun, you can drop $100 on your credit card to sweep through the whole game in a single click. You still won, the reward is the same, but how involved were you actually? Additionally, very shortly after that, win slots introduced a couple minor quality of life updates. They unlocked calendars for all players in exchange for limiting the number of free rooms per stay for certain VIP levels. VIP level 3 could now only offer two free nights meaning the previously most economically viable solution to win slots was null and void. In less than two years, the win slots game was unrecognizable and a stark contrast from its original version. The stories of quick rises to prominence and gigantic savings were reduced to legends, and the occasional memory on a YouTube video. The dream was just a show at win, and no longer a goal for actual win slots players. Win slots would decline in popularity and viability further with the removal of its buffet rewards. This was a product of the Great Las Vegas shutdown of 2020 and the state order against buffets. In this case, it was unavoidable. But even to this day, win slots is yet to restore the buffet rewards, effectively making VIP levels 1 and 2 absolutely worthless in and out of gameplay. Sure, there were other updates like Blackjack, and the Blackjack was abysmal. The rules were nonsensical, it didn't make earning gems any more efficient, and the functionality was inconsistent at best. But I didn't care at that point. I was making a mint in my Vegas rewards, and other free slot games had fallen by the wayside. The adjacent kingdoms of Four Queens and Binions had fallen, so win slots had just become the other game you could play if you didn't particularly like the My Vegas free stuff whose rewards have also been on decline as of late, but that's a story for another time. Anyway, at this point, I'd given up on the win slots game. The game has moved on graphically in features and in gameplay. Most of these improvements have been pretty good, but the easily playable, highly accessible game that we had all come to know and love is a thing of the past. It's been described as moving the goalposts, a rug pull, and in some cases, a down and dirty Ponzi scheme. That being said, there are still a couple of reasons for you to play it. Reason 1, the game itself is pretty fun. Sure, the blackjack rules are odd, the hyper bonus is volatile, and the clubs are always full, but this is probably the best design free slots game that I've ever played. The graphics are pretty solid, and having a realistic artsy sort of style is really nice. And the slots look like they actually could be at the Wynn Hotel itself. Also, it has a multiplayer versus mode, so that's a pretty fun feature. Reason number two, honestly, $225 isn't too bad for a weekend stay at the Wynn. Granted, you want to optimize it for weekend stays, but getting a deeply discounted stay at either the Win or Encore is nothing to sneeze at. And finally, the hyper bonus strategy is still pretty usable. While it will be slower than previous usable strategies, at least it's playable. So there's that. I might occasionally pop into win slots going forward, maybe just to play a hand or two of blackjack, and it might still be worth it for a couple of players. But otherwise, I don't see win slots getting any of my gameplay or business anytime soon, and something tells me they're not going to be none too bothered about that. So maybe it's just for the best that I delete this app once and for all. Alright, Spinners and Sharks, that's it for today's video. 
If you enjoyed today's editorial and found it informative, I'd appreciate a like, and consider subscribing if you haven't already. Before I go, I just wanted to take a quick moment to shout out our patrons, including our newest patron, Patrick Guy, joining us at the Vegas Virgin tier. Guys, it means the world to me that you're choosing to support me in this way and help keep Ace of Vegas independent of the YouTube algorithm. My content isn't always censor and advertiser friendly, so it goes a long way in keeping the channel running. If you'd like a more direct hand in keeping Ace of Vegas growing, check out the Patreon link in the description box down below. In the meantime though, how do you feel about win slots? Are you still squeezing all the comps you can out of win, or do you think it's best that they throw in the towel? Whatever your thoughts may be, I'd love to hear them in the comments down below. Until next time though, this is Ace of Vegas signing out, wishing strong hands, and of course, happy spinning you guys. Viva Ace of Vegas. Viva Ace of Vegas. Viva Ace of Vegas. Viva, Viva Ace of Vegas.